What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is back at you with another LSPDFR troubleshooting video. Uh, I had a few people hit me up about this issue. I know Criminal Justice just had this issue not too long ago. And a uh, big shout out to Matt West Gaming, who actually told me how to fix it. And folks, I'm going to pass that knowledge on to you. If you're an LSPDFR player and you have NVE, you recently just installed NVE, and you're wondering, why aren't my scripts working? Well... I'm gonna show you why right now. First thing we wanna do is locate our main directory. All right, and by doing that, you're gonna to go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, and common. Your GTA folder will be right there. Go ahead and double click it. Mine is right here. And I'm gonna keep this up for a reason. As you can see, I have my scripthookv.net right there. And that's what allows my scripts to work. By the way, I've got a playlist of all of these must have scripts. Definitely check it out. You will thank me later. Um, so, all these scripts right here require scripthookv.net, all of them. Some regular mods in your game require it. And if you're if you recently just installed NVE and you're noticing those mods don't work, this is why folks. So I'm going to go back out to the main directory and I'm going to hold tight right here. What I'm going to do, you're not going to do this because you have already done this, is I'm going to bring up my open IV and I'm going to bring up natural vision. Now, let's say that we just go through and we go ahead and we install the natural vision part one. We install the natural vision part two into our open IV. You know the deal. You did this or else you wouldn't be here right now wondering why your scripts aren't working. Now, if you're an LSPDFR player, that's why this is an LSPDFR tutorial. In the optional add-ons, right down here, there's an LSPDFR compatibility patch. This allows you to play LSPDFR with NVE without having to alt tab out and all that other good stuff. Again, if I go back to my main directory, you can see there's my scripthookv.nets right there. The ASI, the net2.dll, the net3.dll. Okay, if you went and you installed this LSPDFR compatibility patch, okay, I'm going to install it right now into my OpenIV and install and put it in the mods folder, install. If you installed that, now this should be pretty quick. There we go, click close. Uh, we can exit out of the NVE. We can exit out of our OpenIV now. You see the scripttookvs.net are now gone. They're gone. For some reason, not sure why, that compatibility uh, patch removes your scripttookvs.nets. We can put them back in. It's not gonna, it's not gonna ruin your, your, uh, your NVE uh, compatibility, LSPDFR compatibility patch. Okay, so uh, down in the description, uh, just in case you don't have it saved anywhere, is the scripttookv.net 3.6.0. You're just going to go to this right here, the zip. It's going to download super fast because it's a very small file. And here we go. Again, we're in our main directory. All you want right here is the scripttookv.asi, scripttookv.net, scripttookv.net 2 and 3. All right, those three files, asi.net 2, .NET 3, drag them right here to this buffer zone, drop them in. Our script hook Vs are now back in, and now our scripts and any other mods that require script hook V.NET will work, and your NVE will still be intact. Uh, and we can exit out of that, and exit out of that, and folks, that's it. That is uh, uh, one of the possible, uh, possible scenarios on why your scripts folder or other mods that require scripthookv.net to not work. If you just installed NVE, chances are that is your problem right there. Folks, that is going to be it. If you're new here and this video helped you in any way and you feel I'm deserving, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know when new content is added. Also, consider giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach as it hopefully did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules, and obey the law. It is 1.22 a.m. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is tired, and I am out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all. Peace.